All right, hey guys, OFD Check, and in here, and today we've got another watch from Aerotech Watches. A few months back, I had the Sea Hunt here on the channel. Pretty cool watch, um, but this is the Bay, the newest offering, or new Kickstarter offering they're getting ready to launch uh, from Aerotech Watches. I want to thank Terrence from Aerotech, and I want to thank Bob uh, at Time to Go Travel and Time Pieces. I'll leave a link to Aerotech and also to Bob's channel down below, Bob. Uh, sent this out to me to take a look at. So now this is a prototype watch, guys. This watch hasn't actually launched yet. It's not currently available yet, but all the information for the Kickstarter and launch and everything like that is available in the links down below and the description so you guys can check that out. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this one. Dimensionally, this watch is a really, really good size. Comes in in a case size of 40 millimeters side to side, not including that unprotected crown there. You got 47.5 lug tip to lug tip, so it's going to fit the wrist really well. Your thickness of the watch, the top of that dome sapphire crystal is 13 millimeters, which is a really nice thickness. And you got a 20 millimeter lug opening on the watch so really nice sizing they're going to fit a whole lot of wrists uh, definitely stick around we'll put the watch on my seven inch wrist and you guys you have to stick around for the lube shot on this one because it really blew my mind i had no idea uh, how much loom was on this watch so let's go ahead and get the dial up here a little bit closer and talk about that take a closer look at it now this is a sandwich style dial here guys where you can see the indices are actually cut out uh, from that top dial there and underneath there is loomed uh, very very nicely done good traditional style indices the round and the you know the uh, semi-square the semi-rectangular cutouts there looks really really nice and the dial is super super clean on this um, you know besides the sandwich effect and everything like that you do have the applied aerotech logo but other than that not a whole a lot of writing you know cluttering up the dial i do want to show you guys down at the very bottom it's kind of interesting this is where they've got the uh, the 200 meters of water resistance or the 20 atmosphere and 660 feet that's pretty neatly done you don't see that very often usually that'll tell you about the movement in the watch and whatnot so let's go ahead and talk about that really quick the movement inside of this watch is a great great movement from miyota it's the 9039 it's a uh, high beat movement of 28,800 vibrations per hour about a 42 hour power reserve i do believe it's between 38 and 42 i think something like that um but it's a great great movement thin movement works really well it's a true no date movement so it is hacking and hand windable so i'll go ahead and show you that really quick so you pull it out or you unscrew the crown of the first position it is a screw down crown of course you can wind it like that as you can see that's going to allow you to wind the watch outside of the automatic function and then as i pull it out to that first stop it, uh, the second stop, I guess, after you unscrew the crown, it actually hacks. So that'll stop the movement for precision time setting. So very nice. I love it when companies are using, you know, true no date movements. If you're going to make a no date watch, use a true no date movement or, you know, work the crown so that you don't have that ghost position or not the crown. I should say the crown stem so that you don't have that ghost position there on the movement. So, uh, very nice, uh, canvas, um, sailcloth style strap. This is what the watches are going to come with. Um, but you do have the option of a bracelet and they did send out the bracelet to take a look at now this is like i said a prototype so i'm not sure if this is what the bracelet's going to look like i do believe they're going to use quick release pins on the bracelet like they have here on the strap uh, but nice looking strap very comfortable on the watch um, taking a look at the case back it's got that neat diver diving bell helmet there which looks really cool stainless steel aerotech all the information you want to know about the movement there um, 200 meters of water resistance now like i said it's a prototype so i'm not sure if any of that's going to actually change on the back of the watch but currently it looks pretty doggone nice and i do like the sailcloth strap i will note that uh it, it is a prototype and it hasn't been around all that long but the the holes on the strap are fraying so i'm sure that will change with the uh with the full uh, production model so all right guys let's go ahead and pause it and get this watch on my seven inch wrist all right, so being a 40 millimeter watch at 47 lug to lug, it fits really well. That 13 millimeters, excuse me, of thickness gives it a nice wrist presence. You know, it's not so flat, uh, but it does really, really look good on the wrist. Let's talk about pricing really quick while we have it here on the wrist. There's a lot of different options available, the, the bracelet option, all kinds of different things. So in this basic form here, I do believe, or not maybe this one because this is, this is the full loomed one. I didn't want to mention that, but it is a full loom dial. But the, the price ranges are going to be between 429 and 618 Australian dollars. So that's 310 to 447 US dollars. So even with maxed out with all the options, you're looking at an under $500 watch, um, under $450 watch really with all of the options that they have available out there. If you decide to go with the PVD coated case, the full loom dial, the bracelet and whatnot, then you're looking at closer to that $450 mark. Uh, one like this is probably going to set you closer to 
maybe $350 to $400, depending on the options you choose, um, but really, really nice. I didn't mention also, this is a ceramic bezel insert on this, and it's a 120-click bezel. Uh, again, a prototype model, but I will say that with the prototype model, the bezel locks in really, really nice and has a really, really good stiff feel to it, so I do like that. So let's dim the lights and let's blow your mind with the loom on this watch. All right, so here's what surprised me a bit. I, did, I didn't know when I got this watch that this was a fully loom dial. So I thought that was super, super cool. Now they're using combination here of BGW9 and C3 Super Luminova. Uh, I think you guys just saw it there, but look at that. Is that like mind blowing? I mean, that is a super, super bright dial. You've got the BGW9 obviously heavily applied to the dial. And then underneath on that sandwich dial, you've got the C3 Super Luminova being used on the indices, which is glowing green. On the bezel insert itself, you guys can see they're using also the C3 Super Luminova, and it is heavily, heavily applied. Pretty impressive, even on a prototype watch, guys. And check this out. Look at the crown. With the Aerotech logo there on the crown glowing very, very nicely. So really cool watch, guys. This is the Bay from Aerotech Watches. If you want to check them out, uh, check the links down below in the description. Follow them and uh, see what you find. So, all right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.